Great matchup, as you'd mentioned, Ezekiel Lau and Aton Osborne. Yeah, Zeke Lau would be the veteran of the two. Um, both of them do have a equal ninth of finish to their credit so far on the Challenger Series. This is the opener from Ezekiel Lau, Peter. So a little change of equipment for uh, Zeke Lau. You haven't seen this yellow board, at least I haven't, uh, throughout this event. I did go poke around, and this one is uh, an EPS. He's been riding Polly. So, again, with the typical Huntington Beach today, look at that pop he gets. Yeah. Aton's going to be on a 5-5, a five -five, little difference. Wow. Spine Tech, a happy every day. Riding the Captain Fins with the future boxes. Here we go, Zeke Lau hooking off the top on the backhand. Doubles it up for another bang to the lip. Redirects here, staying with the Whitewater, with, going with the flow into the inside shore break, unable to make that connection. Sure can surf the small waves so well. Beautiful snap here, and then another section was up, straight up vertical with that 12 o'clock. So two turns on the outside, this could be his best wave. Aton on the paddle here, with a wave coming through. Aton with priority, decides not to go. Ezekiel's gonna pick this one up under Aton's priority. Again, left into the pier, winds off off the bottom, chops it off the top. One more wind, and another hack off the top for Ezekiel Lau. Looking for the connection, banks off the white water. Glides in here, trying to stay with the en energy right next to the pilings. Zeke Lau looking for the finish. A little snap, a little hung up, but no problem. Hippity hops over the double up and the finish. Three turns on the outside here for Ezekiel Lau. Beautiful snap. Again, another one in the pocket, and then finds a third, a little redirect. Knowing how important it is to get to the inside, he stayed with the energy. So this is really the first two real numbers we're gonna see in this heat. Aton Osborne right behind him, skating on that spine tech construction, and the board's looking skaty quick. And two quick trips to the lip for Aton Osborne. Nice exchange between the two surfers. Replays, let's start with Aton. Oh, a right-hander here. Look at nice, almost head-high wave. Big snap, that was beautiful. Laid into it. Not able to get another maneuver done, but one big, strong move. This would be a great, great contrast because they both got the inside connection. Aton slightly stumbled there. Let's take a look here first at that last attempt by Aton, and uh, we saw him do this to success. Oh, man, he pulls that off. Amplitude was there. And Ezekiel Lau throws the tail. Some jumbled water for the big Hawaiian to ride out of, and he does so. So flared it on the outside. A little bit recovery time. Now the Huntington Hop comes into play, pushing that board against the flats. Gets through there with a couple Tic Tacs. And the finish for Ezekiel Lau, he likes it. He's giving himself a round of applause. What do you think, Peter? As needed. Always a little more challenging here. Tries to find a right, but there's that flared out reverse with the air. You know, it didn't glide out of it with a bunch of speed, but certainly did make it. And it'll be a complete maneuver, much unlike his earlier one. So he liked it with the solidification on the inside. That is going to be uh, advantage. Zeke Lau, he pulls his air off, and he will get the score and the lead. He's already got it, but he's going to add to that lead. Well, let's take a look at the backup board for Ezekiel Lau. We're going to wait for that because Aton Osborne setting up for an air, looking for a ramp down the line, and you can see the te him telegraphing that maneuver. However, that wave did not have an adequate cup to it. Yeah, it didn't. It, unfortunately, he had to like almost move across a little wedge to get there. Yeah, clearly showing his attentions here. Osborne again, flat face wave there, does not offer a ramp. Continue to surf under the priority of Ezekiel Lau's Lau with heat control. He's got the lead as well as priority. This board here said 19. Uh, the yellow one has 19, so it's slightly narrower actually. Osborne, tap, and then throws it up in the air. Does not revert out of that, so well done, didn't really try to do the connection there. The wave did dissipate underneath his feet. We'll see if that improves on the three-point ride that Aton currently has in his score line. However, doubtful that he's gonna get that six. The fact that he went to uh, the layback here, right in that moment, it factors into score. It's like uh, in snowboarding where you butt check. The fact that he went to layback to pull it off. 
Ezekiel Lau throws it again, and that one was looked like a disastrous landing. Uh, that's the kind of landing that you know, puts knees and ankles into jeopardy, Pete. It sure does. Well, sometimes, you know, surfers, like, heads get a little bit, you, you get flustered. And this happened during the break. Interesting for Aton Osborne to even go on that. This is a great, great opportunity for both of these surfers in the search to be a part of the cast of the 2023 Championship Tour. Using his priority, Ezekiel Lau winds up off the bottom. 12 o'clock rings the lunch bell on that first backhand re-entry. And now, once more, has to push that to coral through the flat section. And the board just looking lively under his feet as he skips back and forth into the shore break. Doubles it up, throws the fins, and slaps the hands saying, give me the score. I want something better than a 6.27. Do you well, think he did that? Whereas this one had a little bit of extra punch, a little double up to it. And uh, using that size to his advantage, able to accelerate up and into the lip. And then, of course, going to get that finish, showing those fins out the back. Here comes Aton Osborne, looking down the line. Hooks it one time, a little caught up on that first turn. And now uh, has to kick out, likely be able to regain priority because that wave just, you know, dissipated yeah, right under his feet. Ending up at the Haleiwa Challenger, November 26th through December 7th. And that's when we're going to find out who made the cut. Here we go. Osborne throws a little kind of a, almost a disco spin right there. Back Needs side the inside though here, Kaipo. I believe it. And uh, looking for the inside. Hopping through this section here. Oh, uh -oh. no. This uh -oh. wave Increased is not out. going to cooperate at all. Watch it. He's going to go, bro. He's got it. Oh, that no, wave it's not did. going to cooperate. Yeah. That's, uh, oh. <laughs> See, there's a the frustration. He can do nothing. I mean, you uh -oh. saw that wave just double tripling up on itself all kinds of steps in there taking away a lot of power in that wave yeah he needed that inside is what he needed unfortunately there but a, an incredible performance for Aton. fun to watch but look out for this guy he's got the eye of the tiger Ezekiel Lau is heading on into the final